Hi there. During this lesson, we're going to learn how to pronounce the letter S. The letter S at the beginning of a word is always pronounced as a clear S, S sound, S, and not as a Z, Z, unless it's followed by the letter H, which makes it a SH sound, SH. Let's look at some examples. Try and pronounce each one after me. School. Cell. Sink. Slow. Snake. Smooth. Split. Stop. Sun. Sun. The letter S in the middle or at the end of a word can either be a clear S sound or a Z sound depending upon the consonant which comes before or after the S with or without vowels in between. If there's a hard consonant before or after the letter S then you usually need to pronounce it as a clear S S that sound. If there's a soft consonant before or after the letter S, then you usually need to pronounce it as a Z sound. Z. It's also very important to, produce, to pronounce the S at the end of words which are plural or which express possession. For example, John's bikes, which means the bikes which belong to John. Also you need to pronounce the S at the end of words which are third person. Here are some examples of words which contain a clear S sound. Once again, try and repeat each one after me. Cost. Books. Compost. Crisps. Grapes. Wallets. Misty, grasp, mast, fast. And here are some examples of words which contain a Z sound. Bags, hands, meters, coins, films, shutters, Glasses, expenses, plasma, and snails. There are, of course, many exceptions, which unfortunately you just have to learn as you go along. Now, try reading out loud the following sentence and remember to pronounce the right type of S. Sally, the smooth and slippery snake, slides slowly down the stairs. Sally, the smooth and slippery snake, slides slowly down the stairs. So, now that you know how to pronounce the letter S, try chatting with some new friends on Go Speak English to see if you can press them with your smooth, stylish and sensual speaking style. And that's the end of this lesson. Now, you can see if you've understood the video and do the test on Go Speak English. You can also watch many other English video lessons on Go Speak English. Thanks, and I hope to, get, I hope to see you again soon.